Hello, I've come to show you this modern day double bass banjo. So it's a take on Gibson's classic double bass banjo of the 1930s. Gibson used a kettle drum from an orchestra. I've used a kick drum from a modern rock kit. I don't know if you can see, but it's a, it's a Led Zeppelin tribute kit. It's got the, uh, the Four Symbols logo on the front skin. The neck is a bolt-on neck from an old 12-string guitar. That gave, me the, that gave me the strength and the truss rod to cope with the tension. The strings are rotor sound flat wounds, as long a scale as I could possibly get to get as close as I can to a double bass. And I fitted proper um, bass guitar machine heads to give it decent tuning. Let's see what it sounds like. Let's come up closer to the microphone. So, somewhere up the top here. something bluesy, maybe in G major. Maybe something more like Skiffle, um, Irish Rover in A. Hmm. So that gives you an idea of the acoustic sound. There's a pickup too, um, so let me take the microphone down, bring the pickup sound up. There's no EQ, no compression, I, this isn't plugged through a bass amplifier, so this is just the raw bass sound, the raw pickup sound, but you'll hear it does get the full range of the strings. Yeah, it's quite a plain sound and uh, yeah, it needs a bit of amplification, but what the hell. So you get the idea that the pickup is there. I've had quite a lot of fun tuning this, to be honest. Getting the tune port right, getting the size of the plate, the mass of the bridge right, the length of the strings, in order to get it as bassy as I can, in order to get the full range out of the instrument. And uh, yeah, I guess the only thing I regret is that I didn't come up with a fingerboard that has a big arch on it so you could bow it. And that is um, probably my next project. 